Yeah, you know how you're doing. Good. It's good to hear. <laughs> I'm just, I'm awkward and I'm trying to break the ice. I'm going to be a little awkward, as I said, don't worry, I'm just like this, okay? I was awkward one time at a funeral because uh, my wife was with me and she pointed down at the gravestone in front of us and there was a stripe and chicken wings on the gravestone. And uh, I thought it was weird because, I mean, it takes some balls as an engraver to try and get, like, buffalo wing sauce on a grave. Uh, you know, I just imagine, like, did he have, like, that in his will that he wanted to write chicken wings in the grave? I mean, grave. And I think, no, I think maybe his friends were like, look, Ronnie died suddenly, of course. And we have to do something. Somebody has to tell his story. We can't just have his name, the year he was born, the year he died. We need more than that. We need Sprite and chicken wings forever, right? And I don't care, I don't care how expensive it is. We're going to use the uh, river across town because the one nearby will go see or miss, okay? <laughs> Only on Saturday night, not for eternity. I don't know. I have this great job that I like. I like. I work in a drive-through at Starbucks, and I'm pretty good at it sometimes. Sometimes I am so good at it, I'm worried it might be my calling. <laughs> I always put on earth and be like, "Hey!" <coughs> and and it's nice to do this little performance window, like hang out with people, talk with them while they're waiting for their coffee, and it's kind of like a little stage, and it's pretty fun. And I really like that. It's my favorite part of the job, except the day I had a Nazi, and that was odd. Um, pulls up. And, Looks like a normal guy, except for the big swastika tattoo on the back of his hand. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, hey, perhaps it was the Winded Cross, the Asian Buddhist symbol for good luck. No, it was not the Asian Buddhist Cross, the symbol for good luck, because he also had pride across his knuckles. And I don't think he was proud of his luck. So, anyway, he's sitting there, and I, just, I close the window. You know, I'm just not going to help this guy. I'm not going to be nice to him. I'm just going to. Let him be. I'm going to seal him off in his own little area by himself and ignore him until he goes away. And I get this pang that, like, no, in a way, in the smallest way possible, you are endorsing his worldview by killing him. His huge game is not to. So I open the window, I'm like, hey, how's the wedding? I'm surprised. Because, you know, huh? not me. Usually, the swastika is for awkward job interviews, not for chit chat. And he's like, yeah, it's weird. It's weird weather we're having. Like, yeah, it is weird, isn't it? You're a Nazi? <clears throat> and uh, we just sort of talk about the weather for two minutes until a cinnamon dulce latte comes, and I hand it a cinnamon dulce latte, and he drives away. And, you know, I was thinking, there, I, I did it. I was tolerant of the Nazi. And he was like, wow, it's nice to meet another Nazi. <laughs> uh, I'm not a Nazi, just that's the joke. Just, uh, yeah, that happened. I don't know. I, I, I'm worried sometimes about us as a species, and I, I've been teaching recently, so I like to grade things. And like, we have Nazis, but we also have, you know, art. We have war, but we also have love. We have armies, but we also have string cheese. You know, we have these like horrible dichotomies, and I think if you average the good and the bad, I think we as a species, C minus. <clears throat> no, I just, I'm just I'm a little bit of a pessimist. And I feel like that's an okay grade. We can do better. There's room for improvement, right? Uh, but I'm worried we're going to find aliens and they're going to totally throw off the curve. You know, like what if we meet aliens that have races but no racism? How screwed would we be? Maybe like an A plus species? <laughs> we run with like a planet of, of flirt, let's call it. And there are blue flirts and there are orange flirts. And we're just getting to meet each other as a species. We haven't really told each other our histories yet. And we just happen to find. We're in a room with a bunch of blue flirts, and we're like, hey, hey, or have you guys ever, I don't know, tried to get together and kill all the orange flirts? No? No, we humans haven't done that ever, no. We don't have like a word for it and a Wikipedia list that you can sort by both alphabetical and number. No, we don't have that at all. Um, and then, I'm just curious though, as a blue flirts, have you ever gotten together and decided to take a bunch of orange flirts and make them and their children work on some kind of long term project or industry? No? <laughs> you haven't done that? We haven't done that either. <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. Um, I have some editing to do really quickly, but first I have a quick question. Have you ever just like, like taken like traditional orange flirt music and drained the soul and the will and the spirit out of it and repackaged it and sold it as your own and pretended you made it up for say 50 or 60 years? <laughs> no, we haven't done that either. No, no we haven't done that at all. Uh, look, okay, that's about it. Have a